Meet Luka Markovic, codename Big Saba, Serbian for the Bullfrog. A recent transfer out of the Balkan Special Anti-Terrorist Unit, Markovic is quickly making a name for himself in the Noise Warden Bureau. His no-nonsense approach is a little more aggressive than usual, to be sure, but he knows when to slow it down when necessary. We begin, of course, by breaching our patented window in the north side of train station. Once armed, we begin sound patrol. Sounds like Garcia dropped first floor and the new arrival just landed roof. Let's go ahead and see what they do first. That was your one chance. Do not give me another. Since our gunfire will show up on the first floor enemy's radar, we use that to our advantage and quickly drop below. Hmm, it appears they received the message. Train station belongs to me. Enemy UAV overhead. Turning ahead, we've since plundered enough for a loadout and making our way to the buy. We'll go ahead and burn this armor box so it doesn't fall into enemy hands. For this location, I advise concealing the smoke in this stairwell. Then we just simply... Oh. Let's hope they give chase. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. All right, now we just create a little space and dust off our car 98K. Looking for me, Stitch? Little wee wee. No shame in your game, huh? All right, I respect that. All right, two loadout crates. Let's let's not rush it. We can bet truck is most likely grabbing their loadout now, as that is a another drop location right over that hill. this racket slide back here, can we? We'll ultimately need to head north, but there should be just enough time to investigate and then we'll double back for our SMG. This will also ensure that we don't get pinched as we move ahead. Alright, we've got two fleeing vehicles and one straggler still lurking below. Now I can't tell if they're first floor or in the stairwell to the right. No need to commit one way or the other. Gas is incoming and if we drive back we'll have a clear shot of both exits. Guess it was a sterile after all. (laughs) 
And it's pretty cool that you get the uh, the kill for plays like that. I, I wonder what the what the threshold is. Probably until they regain full health, right? Enemy UAV overhead. <laughs> I'm thinking we'll head north through Storage Town. I'm also now realizing that we need to self-revive as soon as possible. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> little wee wee, you again, my guy. Well, I'll say you got big balls for testing old Rhodesy again, <laughs> that's for sure. Alright, looks like we have more stragglers back there too, so let's let's gatekeep a sec, shall we? It's a little late for this to still be here. Let's let's stay vigilant. Was that Glint? All right, now you want to get nuts? All right, come on, let's get nuts. All right, all right, all right, Markovich, calm, calm down, calm down. We, we are sans self-res, after all. Let's go ahead and curb that ego, and then we're going to play this smart. Let's hop in this big fucker and invert the power position. I'll drive. That a boy, come on. God damn it, all right, I guess the high ground ain't happening. Try to steal Bertha. <laughs> Not so fast, buddy. I'll drive. Oh, let's not forget that gas mask. Thank you. I'll drive. All right, now, now if you've watched the uh, Port Authority episode. You know how I feel about the cowards that exploit the trucks and solos, the self-loathing, miserable degenerates that they are. And right now you might be saying to yourself, good God, is old Rhodesy becoming what he hates right before my very eyes? But before jumping to any hasty conclusions, allow me to elaborate. You see, in the Noise Warden Bureau, we call this contextual vehicle acquisition and utilization, CVAL for short. If one needs to get out of a sticky situation, or one needs to rotate far distances through open terrain, CVAL, even with trucks, is all well and good, my dear. What is detestable, however, is when people deliberately seek out a truck, rely on them all game, and roll around final circle like a twat. And why they do this is obvious. In their dead hearts, they know that their gun skills are inferior, cannot win a fair fight, and will do whatever they can to level the playing field to their mediocrity. 
Even if this means turning said playing field into a fucking Sunday, Sunday, Sunday commercial. I kid you not. I've seen up to four Berthas chasing each other around Final Circle. It's, it's absurd. It's, it's absurd. Anyway, that's, uh, that's not how this game is going to end. That, that, I can assure you. If it was up to me, you know, these monstrosities would, would be disappeared just like the choppers and solos. The, uh, the perfect solo setup would be ATVs only. I mean, wouldn't that be the best? Only ATVs. We should really start a petition. That would be so ideal. So ideal. chivalry? <laughs> I'm afraid not. There's nothing like a straight line for a sniper. Since we're up here, let's go ahead and clear these hills before we move on. Whoa! <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the big Saba. Boy, I simply couldn't track old Markovich, could he? <laughs> All right, now the play is to wait out this circle. We're going to ditch this behemoth at the buy station at the top of the dam, and then we're going to pop a UAV, pocket an airstrike, and see what's what. Okay, plan B it is. The hell is that thing and, and how is he reloading it so fast? Ghost town my ass, god damn. Gas is closing in, relocating the safe zone. Alright, um, we're going to recalibrate here, and then we're going back to plan A. Oh, 
pardon me, sir. I'm, I'm in a hurry. Trinity! Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Enemy UAV overhead. All right, okay. Here's our exit strategy right here. Enemy UAV overhead. Damn, we're low on Enemy armor. UAV oh, overhead. oh, I forgot I had this little lifesaver. We are back in business, Markovich. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Either shooter has headed east or is baiting our loadout. I guess we're about to find out. Alright, stun grenade acquired. We're gonna have to go ahead and pull a golden eye down to the facility. But uh, to where exactly, I, I, I have no idea. Brosman, eat your heart out. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Okay. Now what? Alright, that should settle them down for the time being. Alright, we got four spectators. Three targets in play, and two of which are unaccounted for. Although we haven't heard any footsteps, the abandoned tack rover is a red flag that someone is hiding either in our building or very close by. They could also be right under this drop, but uh, we didn't see anyone crossing the bridge from up top, so uh, the probability is low, but not impossible. in the safe zone. Lily 
Pad, this is Bullfrog. We are ready for extract. are uh, toxic, sore losers. Both the uh, the final two enemies and the four spectators we had were very complimentary in the post-game chat. Death Chicken, that's a great name, by the way. Um, he even said great play right after I finished him for the, uh, for the final kill. So respect to all of them for the sportsmanship. Next episode, I think we're going to crank it up a notch with some, uh, with some duos action. Solos, I kind of consider its own thing, but in terms of team play, duos is, uh, is definitely my favorite. One caveat, however, for reasons I have yet to understand, Xbox does not record game chat, so we'll see if my narration can still hold up in the uh, in a duos format. All right, well, if you enjoyed that, please hit that like button, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more. All right, people, keep it quiet out there.